are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Talking to me? All right. That's it. I'm going to dump you on the floor in a minute. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. In January of 2015, former Las Vegas police officer Richard Scavone approached a woman near Interstate 15, believing that she was loitering and attempting to solicit a John. Okay. Hey, come on over, man. Hey! What? Come over here! Officer Scavone is immediately aggressive after exiting his police vehicle. He gives conflicting directions, ordering her to put her palms together, while simultaneously holding them apart. Get on Put your hand behind your back. So what do you? I got the taser out. Put your hand behind your back. Put your palms together. How am I supposed to put my palms together if you got my fucking hand? Miss Ortiz implies that she is ready to comply. However, the officer reacts in a highly emotional manner, seemingly insulted by Miss Ortiz. He violently pushes her toward his police vehicle, and a moment later, she is thrown to the ground. That's it. All right. That's it. I'm gonna dump you on the floor in a minute. Who you think you're talking to? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Talking to me? Spread your feet. My feet are straight. Why do you have your hands on my fucking neck? Get the f get the f off of me! You doing? I don't give a f so what? Take me out to take me to fucking jail. You doing all this extra stuff for what? Stay. Get, get on your stomach. On your stomach. Despite the high stress of the situation, Miss Ortiz keeps her wits about her. Had enough? She points out that the hotel has a surveillance camera and that everything these officers are doing is being recorded. I don't care because there's a camera right down the street no, no, no. from the hotel. You finished? I don't think I'm going to jail. I'm recorded. You finished fighting me? Oh, are you finished or no? But somehow, this still does not dissuade the officer, and he incriminates himself with further acts of violence against the defenseless, handcuffed woman. You finished? Get my fucking back on the ground! You finished? EP thirty one four six eight. After appearing to kneel on the back of Miss Ortiz, Scavone finally allows her to get to her feet, telling her to shut up while he walks away to call dispatch. Are you finished or not? Yes! Stand here, shut up. Understand me? Or no? I heard you. Don't move. Four six eight. Soon enough. He returns with more verbal humiliation, improper touching, and violence. What else you want to do, tough guy? Go ahead and take me to jail. That's all I want you to do. You got it. The officer then slams Miss Ortiz's head into the hood of the car. What do you got here? That's fine. Don't touch my butt. Damn, what the f Ever pull away heart. from me. Everything is f***ing being recorded. You have to me for no f***ing reason. And you know that. I'm not doing Ever pull ah! away from me. Understand me? He then proceeds to reach down her shirt, despite her protests. The fuck? Get out! Get off of me! Take it out! Don't touch my breath! What the f***? What Get else you got? Get off of me! What else you got? Get off of my feet! You're in my f***ing shirt! What the f***? Reach for anything while I'm talking to you. Get off of me! No! Stop! Finish? You finished? Stop! In the car. In the car. Stop. Oh my God! You're gonna walk. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? In the car. These acts are clearly cruel and unusual, and they represent a clear violation of her civil rights. But not a single officer on scene stepped in to help Ms. Ortiz from her violent assailant. After the incident, Scavone was placed on paid leave with a pending misdemeanor battery charge. Uh, that use of force report was reviewed by the supervisors and ultimately it made its way up um, through the chain of command where that uh, report was reviewed by supervisors. We were notified today by the district attorney that they have uh, agreed to go forward on a misdemeanor battery charge. Subsequent to this event, Officer Scavone had been relieved of duty uh, with pay. Today he remains uh, relieved of duty with pay. If a body camera uh, is present, 
It is reviewed in every circumstance where a use of force is used. But when the body cam footage was released to the public, his situation became much more serious as it marked the end of Richard Scavone's law enforcement career and the beginning of his life as a felon. In contrast, all charges against Miss Ortiz were dropped. Scavone was fired from the police force and subsequently pleaded guilty to excessive force. This is the first time that I am aware of that we are bringing criminal charges associated with the review of a body camera on a on-duty use of force incident. The FBI got involved and revealed that Officer Scavone had falsified his police report in an attempt to obstruct their investigation into the matter that led to two federal felony counts. No other witnessing officer was charged for failing to do their job. But finally, in 2018, Scavone was sentenced to one year in prison for excessive force. But when he got out, he violated his probation in 2022 after assaulting two individuals in New York. But this only extended his probation by nine months. As for Miss Ortiz, she filed a lawsuit against the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. Richard Scavone and a number of other officers present at the time of her unlawful arrest. The lawsuit alleged that the officers had no right to detain Miss Ortiz, let alone arrest her as A, she had not committed a crime, and B, was on private property. The lawsuit also pointed out that the other officers stood idly by and watched as her 4th and 14th Amendment rights were violated. Beta! These rights allegedly protect citizens against unreasonable searches and seizures and ensures due process, and in this case was the reason that she eventually settled out of court for $200,000. Fortunately, part of Mr. Scavone's punishment included barring him from working as a law enforcement officer ever again. So let me know in the comment section what you think. Why does law enforcement as a career attract so many violent individuals? In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.